Hello over users, Alex here, V-Ray Guide, and tonight we are going to benchmark our V-Ray. I'm going to use Alienware R5 for this uh, test, and of course I'm going to do later on an overview on this computer. But before we do that, let's uh, do the benchmark. So if you type in Google uh, V-Ray benchmark, you'll be able to get to this page. And let's click on this one here. That's a standalone application, so you'll be able to find it together with all your V-Ray downloads. And it's free, so if you are a member in Cows Group website, you'll be able to log in and download. Let's do this for Windows. All right, let's double click, run it. I agree. Okay, so let's click start. Now, what it basically does, it's gonna give us two scenes to test. And now it's running CPU test. After that, we're gonna run a GPU test. And we're gonna see how much time each thing took. If you take a look here in the system, it gives you all the specification of my uh, computer here. It's i7. 8750H, the CPU is the new generation, 2.2 GHz, and I'm using GeForce 1070 with 8 gigs of RAM, and those are NVIDIA version for the driver and Microsoft Windows 10 and V-Ray 35701. I'm not sure where it's using not V-Ray 4, but that's, that's I guess the version that it's using for that test. Alright, so the CPU was done in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And now I think it's going to switch to GPU and going to kick in. So we see progressive rendering kicks in, or the GPU. I'm still not 100% sure why Vray doesn't use the same scene in order to test the GPU and the CPU, but I guess they have their own reasons for uh, doing that. But generally speaking, I think this scene should take maybe a little bit longer to render, but even though the other one had a lot of detail in it, so this one is uh, it's pretty low poly everything here. But uh, it looks uh, that the GPU is gonna run a little bit faster, and the vents are not working, so it's a little bit. It's a little bit more quiet, I guess, on the GPU side. I mean, I can hear a little bit slightly vent fan working. I think it's uh, from the graphic card. It's not the computer ones. But yeah, definitely, when the CPU kicks in, all the, all the fans need to work in order to cool down the processors. Okay, so the tests were done. Um, nope, no overclocking. Alright, so we can click submit. So I guess this, those are the benchmark tests that went with the same CPU and the same graphic card here. So we can see CPU time, GPU time pretty much the same in the first one though but the later ones the CPU takes longer compared to this one this is mine right here 
230 and 143 and let's see the notes oh those, this is my note so let's see this note here nothing in the note all right so nobody put other notes but we can see that many people got very similar results except this one this is like almost four minutes and compared to one and a half on the gpu but generally speaking my computer will perform much better with the gpu and this is how you can know which render uh, type you should use for your very scenes gpu or cpu in my case this alienware 17 r5 with those specifications is going to run better with the gtx 1078 gigs of ram uh, it's gonna run much faster all right so go ahead download this v-ray benchmark it's totally for free and test it out on your computers to discover what will run faster the cpu or the gpu this is alex your v-ray guy thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video ciao